What's going on everyone? Welcome to DizDrew Channel's 10th episode. These D23 videos have taken our channel to new heights and the comments have been flowing in. If you haven't seen those videos yet, you can check them out with the links in our bio and on the title cards now. For this video, I wanted to spend some time going through the comments we have received and addressing them in a bit more detail than I did through the replies in the comments. D23 2022 has just begun and the parks panel will take place on Sunday, so we wanted to round out our prediction videos right before it all goes down. If you commented on our videos, thank you for engaging with us and making this video possible. Without further delay, let's get right into the questions. Michael Parker commented, I think Encanto will be announced as a Columbia Pavilion at Epcot. I think we will get two announcements for Animal Kingdom, one replacement for Primeval, and also Zootopia. So I actually did mention the Columbia Pavilion announcement as a possibility in our previous predictions videos. I did consider it a wildcard prediction since it would require some intense construction and a long timetable, which could result in the finished product arriving long after the hype of the film has died down. That being said, I think it would be a fantastic idea and if new Encanto projects are coming, it can be a smart investment. On the topic of Animal Kingdom, Jose Aguirre said, For your predicted changes to Dinoland USA and Animal Kingdom, Joe Rody said himself he doesn't want the park to have rides and experiences based off IPs unless they're tied into nature, with animals and plant life, etc. So Encanto might be an idea with Antonio's room being a theme for something. Yeah, I actually think if they don't do a Columbia Pavilion at Epcot, Antonio's room in place of Dinoland would be a pretty good alternative idea. I definitely think something is bound to replace Dinoland soon, especially with the closure of Primeval World. Whether that replacement is Encanto, Zootopia, as Michael mentioned, or something else, we'll have to wait and see. Sticking with Dinoland, Brian Canari said, I've long said Indy coming to Dinoland would make perfect sense. He could be looking for a mythical creature like a dragon where we also discover unicorns and other imaginary creatures, Indiana Jones and the Temple of the Forbidden Dragon. I feel Indy fits well into this park before Marvel and so many other IPs. He's always out pushing his way through the natural elements to retrieve something, and the track layout of Dinosaur is the same as Indy in Disneyland. They can even bring in some of the same show elements. This would also lean further into mythical creatures like the park initially intended. We mentioned a few other ideas earlier, but I'm definitely with you that Indiana Jones would be the best replacement for Dinoland at Animal Kingdom. With Dinosaur and the Indiana Jones of the Temple of the Forbidden Eye at Disneyland having the same track layout, and the easy replacement of the Dino Dig Site into an Indy Dig Site, it seems like a natural and easy refresh for the area. I love your idea of working in the scrapped content from Beastly Kingdom, which was originally planned for Animal Kingdom. I do think Avatar has kind of satisfied that fantasy creature angle, but I'm all for adding more. Sean Boundy says, Probably not going to happen, but I would like for them to update Carousel of Progress. You know, I get weird looks for this a lot, but one of my favorite attractions at the Disney parks is definitely the Carousel of Progress. I love how it captures the optimism towards the future that Walt always had, which is a nice contrast to the fears of the future that reality often gives us. In the topic of updating it, I think it's less likely than I would have thought a year ago, since they recently updated the final scene with some new costumes and hairstyles. This change leads me to believe the attraction will at least go another year or two before any significant significant changes occur, I just hope it never gets shut down. Continuing with Epcot, Alex said, The Mary Poppins expansion was one of the most anticipated by the fans, I don't think it would be good to scrap it. I agree with you that it is highly anticipated by the diehard Disney fans, and I myself also hope it does not get scrapped, but I think since Mary Poppins Returns wasn't quite as successful as Disney hoped it would be, it may not be as high a priority as creating experiences around more relevant properties, such as Encanto, Moana, Frozen, and even Tangled. I do hope it does get an update though, I will be very excited to see the project move forward and make the UK Pavilion a hotter destination. It's Fun S said, I would like the Walt Disney Company to add a new daytime parade, nighttime parade, stage show, food and beverages, merchandise, decor, and new costumes for all eight Mickey and friends to each and every one of the Disney parks around the world for the 100 Years of Wonder celebration next year. So for those who don't know, 2023 marks the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Walt Disney Company in 1923. The logo for the event was revealed at D23 in 2021 and many are expecting a lot of festivities to go down at the park. Personally, I think this will be a great way to make up for COVID diminishing the plans of the Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary. This celebration will also assumably carry over to all the Disney parks across the world, so everyone will get a little something rather than just in Florida. Shawnee Shippers and Apple Guy both mentioned the rumored Tangled ride coming to Disneyland Paris. I did see this. It is certainly very exciting that Disneyland Paris is getting a whole tangled area with the town and the Kingdom of Corona. I do hope this makes its way to the US parks or at least the ride can come to the Germany Pavilion in Epcot. What do you think? 
Oh, and while we're talking Tangled, Lexi Brown showed some love for Tangled the series, so I will once again remind you all to watch that show. It's amazing, I promise. Watch past season one and everything gets really good. Trust me. And to round it all out, Rick Pontificate said, predict that JPEG will raise prices and you're sure to be accurate. Well, I can't disagree with you there. And that'll do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this different type of video going over some of the comments we've received lately. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a like and subscribe for more content. We also have Instagram and Twitter. You can follow those to never miss a new video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for D23 2022 coverage.